Hey guys, welcome to Bubble Man's World. I'm sitting here at the University of West Indies on the campus, just in front of uh, the Usain Bolt track that he obviously practiced on for many years and helped him win uh, some gold medals uh, in running, obviously, one of the fastest men on the planet. And uh, I guess I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about the standardizations that are gonna be coming to Jamaica in the near future and how we're going to be able to test the cannabis that all the local farmers and all the companies that come in and make their attempts at growing, whether they're using local farmers or whether they're bringing people in, I'm not sure. I know we have the plans on doing a little bit of both, obviously using as many local people as possible. But one of the worries is standardizations. And one of the machines right now that's being um, promoted as the new standard in Jamaica is the QuantiCam from Steep Hill. And it is quite a unique machine. It's really neat. You can grind up the herb and it takes this little photograph and moisture and it, it sort of has a reference of the product it's photographing and it references um, the many, many types. I don't know if they've done a thousand tests um, for uh, different strains with uh, gas chromatograph or L L LCP or whatever it is, liquid chromatograph. I'm not sure which ones they did, but it's basically a reference model. It's the beginning of what we will get to in the future, but in the meantime, at the University of West Indies, they have all the machines on point here on campus that would be used in uh, regards to standardizing the medicine and being able to test for microbials, um, molds, um, THC percentages, cannabinoid percentages, and then also stripping down and breaking uh, the, tr the terpene and terp terpenoid contents down. And of course, there's even monoterpenoids and sesquiterpenoids, and the science gets more and, comp more, and more complex the deeper you get. That is one of the main reasons CRD and UCAN has signed uh, a contract and an MOU with the University of West Indies because we know that they're the people for the job. They have all the students available. They have um, the machines available. And all it really is is a little bit of a synergistic relationship of us bringing a few key people in to help train the, um, for instance, the Proton HNMR that is being used here. They have two of them, a 250 megahertz as well as a 500 megahertz. Uh, and we're going to be going to see those in a little bit. Um, those machines have the ability to do more than most and the things that they don't do, uh, GC and uh, liquid chromatograph um, and then mass spec, all of these are available here with people who are on them and trained and know how to use them and I think when UCAN and CRD just brings the small amount of key people in to do some training, you're really going to see some standards uh, take place here on the island in regards to cannabis. So um, I'm not going to talk too much more about it, but I want you guys to go check out United Cannabis's new page. I'll put the link for their YouTube page right in the bottom of this video so you don't have to look and Google for it. You'll just be able to click the link. And you can see um, Tony Verzura along with Maurice Ellis from Sunspice Seasonings uh, discussing a little bit about uh, the situation here in Jamaica and a little bit about the Proton HNMR. So go check that out and we will catch up with you guys soon on Bubble Man's World, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I'm gonna film some of this campus mural too. over there that we were going to do the greenhouse project on, I think. My brother works over here. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm busy. Can you see him today or no? We're going away from there. Okay. Mona Institute of Applied Sciences.
definitely does. Just park by the banana trees, man. For our own toxicity reports, we're not able to do this kind of thing. Um, and they kind of trapped us too. Check, check. Walking the corridors of the Faculty of Science and Technology now versus the medical science yeah. that you were at before. So right. this is sort of, as it says, engineering. These are all science: engineering, life sciences, chemistry, physics. A sort of um, basic science and technology. Okay. It's not gonna muck up the cameras though. No. Uh, well, You're yours right. is more expensive than mine. It's all right. This won't. This isn't. This is prime. So it's not magnetic film. Hi. I just mean the components in the camera. Even. Uh, I don't think so. This one you can't get around because it's too much. This is what's this? This is a supercritical fluid extractor, even though it doesn't belong to us. Supercritical. So I do supercritical CO2. Is this super? You're saying this is supercritical CO2? That's what I use. It looks totally different than that. Okay, I can show you what ours looks like. Pretty cool. Well plate done, and you can pretty much. So this is where we do most of our drug hub interactions work um, on this, no. you know, this machine. Let's go right here. Varian has got bought over now, as you might By know. By the A X Aquion or whatever they are. Uh, I don't know what but, so therefore, we've lost kind of the, the, the data. That's pretty yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. it's very, thank you for 
going to be used for parks now. Mm -hmm. Prostate cancer cell lines, colon cancer cell lines. We also have the normal prostate cancer cell lines. This is something Brent would really like. Okay. Stem cell so scientists. Give me we've a lot of time, but I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna spare you. Yeah. But um, we so they have an agreement with the principal to work on campus, which is why I felt that and they're particularly interested in, in NMR. So unfortunately I did call Prof Reese, I did call Roy Porter and I can't get any of them. But oh, I think what they want to do is to take verify off. it. Okay. Um, because that's CSU in uh, Colorado. One of the guys that's on our team graduated many moons ago from there, and he's been using proton NMR analysis for about 10 years. And he's actually been sneaking in products and cannabis based products that we're talking about and studying them for okay. quite a while. Um, the US doesn't allow us to do that, not at all. Um, so that's why we're over here. And so your new bill that just passed allows us to study this for scientific purpose. So what we would love to do is bring somebody on campus that can teach you guys how to read the data and maybe help the staff understand about it. I'm the staff. <laughs> I'm the only person. <laughs> That's how normally it is. But you also have you do uh, tell me it's what? Every every day? Both five and the two hundred? Um, yeah. you just use that, right? Um no. Um it's mostly graduate students. Yeah. Okay. Use both. So this would be the workhorse, and then for further structuring, like shooting, so then they know you can use more persons looking at maybe like phosphorus. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you have a pro for phosphorus? We have a molding nuclear pro. And you have a carbon 13 in there. So that's, it oh, does carbon as well. Yeah. Cool. This one and is just. just this one I've seen, seen before. This one. Yeah. It can, yeah. yeah so the inverse okay. um, multi nuclear can be various nuclear. It's just we have to just tune it accordingly. So some of the standards that have never been used, not even in the U.S., is what we want to help develop here, um, utilizing HPLC, uh, HPLC with the mass spec like you were talking about, mm -hmm. in conjunction with Proton NMR, allows us to certify the crops and then certify the products, so standards are being met. Um, okay. And it's a process that we want to help out. We just want answers for science. My background is BS in science and engineering, so my heart's going to be trying to find out all the scientific reasoning for things. Oh, okay. Okay, well. You know, we'll talk about this. I was thinking yeah. eventually maybe the lab, this lab would be involved. I didn't see clearly how yet. But yeah. now I'm not sure what's being done. Yeah, yeah. But at the moment, it's, it's, too, it's a tool for research, but for not just students' research. Yeah, right? pretty yeah. much. Plant work Perfect. or synthesis. So we have a lot of people. Yeah, that we can yeah, analyze. So analyze, try to elucidate their components that they extract from their plants. So that probably will fall right into Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we do. That's what we do. We extract so things we from plants and test them. And uh, okay. do some due diligence on the equipment, if you don't mind us just kind of filming it. Mm -hmm. um, just so we take some pictures and show the other scientists what tools you have. And since you're alone here, you might like the company. <laughs> Okay. Mark's a nice guy. This is okay to go in there? Uh, anybody who's camera, but I think this is okay. Yeah, no.